So you notice in the firmware folder, there's a My Focus of Pro 2 Libraries folder. And in there, there's a whole lot of libraries that you have to copy. So you must go in there and copy them. And whereabouts do we want to put them? We want to put them in the Documents folder, Arduino Libraries. And so all we do is just paste them into there. Now, I've already done this, so I'll just overwrite them all. So that's good. So let's go back to the focus of folder. And in, in the um, focus of folder, and we go into the firmware, and the board I've got is TRV8825, that's the driver chip. It was made using the HW203, hardware 203 schematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load this into the Arduino IDE for a start. And here it is. And if I just click the verify button, that should go away and it should come back without any errors. Oh, those are warnings. And read any errors uh, as compiled. So that's what we're just waiting on. Takes a little while. Okay, so it's compiled fine. So that indicates everything's configured. So what we'll do now is, it says in this firmware file, it says to generate a minimal controller comment out, etc., etc. Now, my controller supports Bluetooth. It supports a temperature probe. It supports a home position switch. It has push buttons. It has an LED display. It does not have a rotary encoder, so that's commented it out. Doesn't have an infrared uh, controller, so that's commented out. And backflash, and backlash is not commented out because I want to use backlash. So now that I, that's all I need to do, I just need to compile this. So while that's compiling, what I'll do as I've already got my controller board and everything already sort of um, uh, ready to go. And what I'll do is I'll just plug this into the USB port. So let's open up, uh, let's look for device manager. So this is device manager. Where is it? Here it is. And I'm looking for COM ports. It's telling me I'm on COM5. So, in the tools, I've got to make sure that this is set to an Arduino Nano, because that's what I'm using. And I'm using COM5, and it's an 18 mega 328. So knowing that, let's just upload this. Let's try to compile and upload. So this time it's uploading. I disconnected the USB cable to the controller, the nano board, and, and plugged it back in. Uh, closed the uh, Arduino IDE and reopened it. And now she's uploading. Everything's fine. So that's now programmed the controller. So the controller's got all the firmware in it. So just to show you, I can start up the Windows app. I know it's COM5, I know it's 9600 BPS, I can go connect, and this will connect to the controller, and you can see all the figures come back. So we know we're talking to the controller, so the next step is to configure all the settings in, in the controller using the Windows app, which is the best thing to do that, so uh, that'll be the next uh, part of the video.